what just happened? Before we can get into that, I must tell you something. I'm not the best World of Warcraft player. I've been playing World of Warcraft on and off for around 15 years. Yes, you heard that right. I'm 30 now, and I don't have the time to grind like I used to. But my wild prowess is not why you've come to this video. You're here for the horror. As I've gotten older, I learned that I love playing horror games. Maybe it's just human nature, or maybe I'm just strange. I'm not really sure. What I do know is that I find myself drawn to the little details, and I keep coming back to the idea that all games are horror games, depending on your perspective. So I spent countless hours at Dustwood upon receiving a tip from an anonymous friend that untold fortunes are to be made there, and that the zone will be useless in Phase 2. So I ventured forth. Have you ever gotten that feeling when you're all alone in your home that someone unseen, not far away, is in the room? It isn't that you can see or hear anything, it's just a feeling. The hair on the back of your neck stands up. You turn just in time to see. Who's that Pokemon? Nothing. But the feeling doesn't leave. That is the exact feeling I had going through this zone. After traveling for some time, I ran into an unlikely friend, a black rat standing guard at the crossroads. That seemed friendly enough, so I sat down for a break after all. Gnomes can't run long distances due to short legs. I noticed something unusual about my friend, Mr. Squiggles, as I named him. He kept staring off into the unknown as if he could see something that I couldn't. Most unusual. After some time resting, I felt the need to make it to the main questing hub, so I could become the rich, powerful sorcerer that I know I can be. So with a wave goodbye, I bid Mr. Squiggles farewell, but I couldn't forget him staring off into the abyss. We continue our path and notice some unalive monsters along the side of the road, which we decide to investigate. After using my master tracking skills, I noticed an opposing faction druid. I decided it best not to take this fight. Not because druid shred mages or anything, that, that could never happen, but because I'm a generous player and this poor guy is simply trying to quest. Must press on. I found a camp, and with a raging fire and two sworn protectors of the realm, I felt safe so I decided to have a drink to celebrate. But I must have taken it a bit too far. Watcher Dodds and Watcher Page were kind enough to let me sleep at all, but I must push on. A little further down the road, I saw something that should have been taken as an omen. If I had a priest friend to bless this poor soul, I would have. I don't have time to make friends. I'm trying to get to Darkshire, damn it. Far off into the trees, I notice a house. I may as well stop by and see if anyone's home. This house must belong to a hunter due to the animal trophies littered everywhere. But I took time to admire the flies on his meat table, and how well kept his flowers are in such a dark place. After finally arriving in Darkshire, I noticed a foreign gold farmer, so I decided to do what any well-respected player would do. I made my approach to the inn just in time to warm my bones at the fireplace in the kitchen. And now, it's time for a drink. I don't have a drinking problem, I swear. After a short rest, I decided it was time to get started with the questing. Ugh, my head. Oh my god, I don't have a head! Oh wait, yes I do. What the hell happened? How did I get here? Well now, I have to investigate. Next time. Thanks for watching everyone, I really enjoyed turning all the Warcraft into a horror game with an ominous feeling, and I hope you did as well. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, 